Hi everyone! In this and the following videos, let's see how you can quickly prepare the ship for pilotage, arrival or departure, take over the watch or prepare the ship for heavy weather, using company checklists, mainly based on the appropriate bridge procedures guide checklists. Those checklists you can find in the Annex 3 of the Bridge Procedures Guide, which should be in the ship's bridge library. In the section A you will find checklists regarding pilotage, particularly how to create pilot card and to do master, pilot information exchange. In the section B you will find checklists regarding routine actions on the navigation bridge in case of different situations like how to do a steering gear test or what equipment should be checked prior to departure from the port. In section C, you will find checklists regarding the actions you should take in the event of an emergency, like main engine or steering failure, collision or man overboard. So today, let's take a closer look at the checklist from Section A concerning pilotage. Master, Pilot Information Exchange. When the pilot comes on board, the captain should inform the pilot about the ship's particulars, and the pilot has to inform the captain about local conditions and navigation procedures. Master, Pilot Information Exchange usually takes place in conjunction with the following checklist called the Pilot Card. In the pilot card the pilot can find information about ship's particulars and drafts that you must update each port if they have changed. So let's look at an example of how to fill out a pilot card upon arrival in the port. Indicate the date of arrival. Indicate that it is an arrival. Write the port to which you are arriving. Check if unchanging ship's particulars are correct or if you are filling in a blank form. Write ship's name, call sign, year of built. Indicate present displacement and dead weight. This information you can ask from the chief mate. From ship's principal particulars document, you can get information about length, breadth, and other particulars of the ship. Indicate drafts forward, aft and amidships, which also must be taken from the chief mate and approved by the master. Then there must be information about the number of anchor shackles, dimensions of the ship, distances from the bridge to the bow and the stern. Calculate and write ship's air draft. Also must be indicated main engine characteristics, such as type and power, RPM and appropriate speed, rudder, propeller and thruster characteristics. Indicate that all equipment has been checked and is ready for use by ticking in the appropriate boxes. Indicate if there are any defects. 
If you are working on a container ship indicate the windage area, which you can take from the chief mate. Some master, pilot information exchange details may be known before the pilot embark, so you can help the captain to fill in some of the information in advance. The next in section A is the wheelhouse poster. Usually this poster hangs on the bridge bulkhead on the visible place. And the final checklist in section A is required boarding arrangements for pilots. This poster is a guide to the proper rigging of the pilot ladder. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.